So here we have the Vauxhall Corsa Automatic on a 10 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car. Uh, we'll start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of it from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. Now that we've done a full circle of it though, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle, you can see the total miles for the car, which are 45,916. Uh, in that section, it'll also show you what gear this car is currently in, so we're in park at the moment. And then at the top, in the centre, we have the fuel gauge for the car. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have stereo controls on both sides of the steering wheel. And then the main stereo is over in the centre. Uh, you can see we have a CD player. This button will turn the stereo on and off and also do your volume up and down. Once you turn the stereo on, you have a screen just there that will show you uh, whether you're listening to AM or FM radio or whether you're using the car's auxiliary input. And if there was a CD in there, uh, it would bring up a CD player as well. Working our way back down, we have the deadlocks. That locks the car doors from the uh, outside. You can turn the passenger side airbag off, which you would do if you were having a rear facing child seat there. And then beneath that, we have the CD player I mentioned, the main volume for the stereo. This button will take you through the different ways in which you can listen to your music and you can select CD from here as well. Beneath that, we have the air conditioning. So you can determine the temperature, fan speed and direction of the air. This button will recirculate the air that's in the car. This one will turn the air conditioning on and off again. Um, you've also got your rear heated screen just there as well. Underneath that section, we have a 12 volt charging socket. So you can charge up a phone, for example, and then the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.